Hey guys, so today I am filming a new video for you guys and I know the last week was really confusing and the week before was really confused about my videos. Basically I actually forgot to do the voiceover to my morning routine which was supposed to go out Friday and I totally forgot and I was like I can't just upload it, I'll upload it on Monday. So that happened. Then on the exact same week I forgot to upload it on Friday, on Friday because I didn't film one funny story yeah I did film one and I was like oh crap really sorry about that so this is why I'm here today filming a new one for you guys for actually Friday it's okay so I want to give you a little bit of an announcement and I just want to say about something basically throughout this couple of months until the end of to the end of middle of June I'm I don't know if my videos are going to be every Friday they might be some Fridays and it might not be on for every Friday because basically this is my last year of school and I need to focus on my coursework and my exams and I just need to focus on a lot of things which is school. My main priority right now is school. YouTube's kind of like it's there but I, my main priority right now is school and getting the grades that I need to get into college. So don't worry there will hopefully be videos coming up sometimes during Fridays every week I'm not sure probably won't be every week it'll probably be some weeks and then everything like that. I've got two vlogs that I'm actually going to upload soon and don't worry but I don't think there's going to be much main channel videos throughout this kind of months until June. But yeah, there will be, I know there is one video that I have in mind, which I'm not sure if I'm going to film yet, but I'm not sure, which is a Get Rid of Me prom edition. I'm actually going to prom on May, so there will probably be a Get Ready With Me prom kind of style, and there's going to be a whole load of other videos, and there's also going to be a hair care routine, which is actually me actually, actually doing my hair. So don't worry guys, there is a lot of videos coming, but I just don't know when they're actually going to come because I'd rather focus on school than anything else like right now. So, that's set aside, let's actually get onto the video and this is what's going to be my products that I would never repurchase again because I hated them and I've just, I've, no, I dislike them, I, no, they're just no's. So, here is my first Product. This product that I actually have is a MAC foundation and when I tried this out in the store I only tried it on my hand I tried a little bit and it was fine it's still I still haven't used it because I used it on my face at once and I was like what is this no and this is the MAC studio um, sculpt foundation and I've got this in NW15 I actually had to get this foundation because I forgot to buy another MAC, MAC studio fix one of my foundation because I'm using the Estee Lauder one right now which is too dark for me but I'm still using it anyway because this one is horrendous I've never buy it in my life I haven't really looked up any views on YouTube yet which I might actually do but this is horrendous I despise it I may come back to it in the near future and try it again but to be honest right now I hate it I tried it with a brush I've tried it with a beauty blender I've actually tried it with my hands and it's never worked I, I hate it I just, no, this, this, I don't know if I'm going to give this to a friend or someone, but to be honest, right now it's just sitting in my makeup collection and I'd rather just give it away because the money I spent on it is quite a lot, but I've only used it like once or twice, it's, it's horrendous, I hate it, I just, no, it as well, and, oh, it's all sticky, this is the, a new, um, a new peel off mask, my mum actually got this from her Avon lady up in the hospital. Okay, so basically you can tell it's all liquidy and then you can just see like this massive like drop. To be honest, the amount of liquid in here right now is that. That's the only amount of liquid. This is all jelly. And this jelly ain't cute. It's legit horrible. It's like, you squeeze it out, you get a bit of water, and then if you keep squeezing it, you get like this jelly out. And I was like, what's that? And it don't apply to your face very well. It's not a peel off mask. It's rubbish, it smells like vinegar. That's my only thing to say about it. And I, the woman was kind of just giving away like old products. Um, and obviously this was one of them. And then like she gave it, and I tried it, and I was like, no, I hate this. I would never repurchase this. And actually, a new it's actually got a new peel off face mask out in the 2016 
February or March, April, um, March, February, February or March, um, Avon catalog, and it's not like it's nothing like this. I've not used it yet, but this, like, no, what is this? Like, why would you give this to someone when it's not an actual peel off mask and it's just old and like, has it even got a sell by date on it? I'll even check the box for you guys. So I didn't really think that um, mask actually go out of date, but I think this one has. But I've never really purchased this in my life. If you guys like it, then you guys like it. But I wouldn't suggest that you guys buy this. If you feel like you want a new face mask, I suggest anything else except from this mask. <laughs> anything else. And so many products have, like some of you guys actually like. I am going to say like a disclaimer. If you guys love these products, then that's your own point of view. This is my own point of view about these products. So to be honest, if I don't get sponsored by these products ever again, that's fine because to be honest, them two products and the rest of my products I've just, I've used and I've not liked and they've just not gone to my skin or my kind of textures and everything like that. But if you like them, you like them. That's your point of view. This is my point of view. Let's carry on. The next product I've actually used a couple of times and I still use it, but I just wouldn't repurchase it. This is the Beauty Formulas um, Rejuice. Can't say rejuicing gorgeous mud facial mask. Um, controls excess oils and dirt and absorbs impurities and unclogs pores. This face mask, I would say, I wouldn't repurchase it. Um, it is a good face mask. I just feel like it dries out my skin so much. And it doesn't do much. It don't control oil or dirt. Like, I have very, very oily skin. And it does not control it. Um, it doesn't unclog your pores. It's just a really nice little thing to just have on when you're like having a bit of a rough day. I know like, everybody likes to put on a bit of a face mask and all that. This is really inexpensive. I got this from Savers for like a pound or so. Like, I think like last year sometime. But, um, I, I wouldn't repurchase it. I still use it, but I just wouldn't repurchase it. Because I just think that like, it just dries out my skin so much. And then like, when I put moisturiser on it, it don't do much. It like, it still comes out oily and... It's, it's a problem, but yeah, if I wouldn't repurchase this, I would re 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 I would like to repurchase another one, maybe a different one from this uh, brand, but to be honest, this one I don't like, but yeah. Garnier Ultra Lift Complete Beauty, I don't know, that's just what it says, but this is an anti-wrinkle cream. This is the thing, I, I don't know where, I think I put this in my favourites. I think I put this in my favourites or not. I don't know if I put this in my favourites or not, but it was one of my favourites at the time until my skin and my eyes started to burn. Every time I put another product on my skin or my foundation, my my eyes and my skin would burn. Um, This was good for the time that I had it. But until my skin started to burn and that, I realised and I googled the ing I like looked at all the ingredients um, yeah, don't use it if you have very sensitive skin or eczema. This will burn you. <laughs> this, um, really burned my skin and it was, it was good at the time. Like, it does do its job. But I just think you're going to get wrinkles and it's going to happen. Just keep moisturising. But this really did burn my skin. It was good, but I just know I didn't really purchase it because of my skin skin and I have to be very careful what I actually put on my skin because I could be allergic to it or my skin just like react to it and be like mm, no but yeah it was good for the time but I just won't repurchase it because of my skin and yeah it was good you were good you just failed at one job <laughs> you failed of course my bed now um next thing I actually got from a super drug top uh super drug order ages and ages ago this is the makeup academy pro base primer flawless evens out flawlessly evens out complexion this was my primer for about two months um it was good it was very good i just didn't think it was a proper primer i could still see like my pores pop through and then i could just it wasn't really good primer and my my foundation wasn't applying as smooth as it normally did with um the men the Nivea men's balm aftershave balm I don't know something like that but I just think that it just wasn't really applying well um I do love pro I do love pro base like makeup academy and all that um the products are good they're kind of like the drugstore kind of like 
they're like proper like drugstore drugstore uh, kind of like makeup in super drugs um i wouldn't repurchase this i think it just did it wasn't really good primer for me um but i do love all of their other like products because i've got the brow gel and all that and i love that but yeah this is kind of like something that i wouldn't repurchase because i didn't think that it did its job but didn't do its job very well oh sh right. this 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 little product Basically, this is the Scott Scott Superstar Folomizing Mousse um, for fine, lifeless hair, ultra strong hold. Why? So basically, on the back it says directions: shake hand well, hold upside down, dispense mousse into palm of the hand, apply to evenly to damp hair. Do not rinse. Style and desire that blow dry heat intensifies the volume effect. Okay. So this was. I think I did this to my mum like ages and ages ago when I wanted to be a hairdresser. I was like, yeah, I want to be a hairdresser. Like, I want to cut people's hair. I want to dye people's hair. Yeah, no. But basically, what happened with this was it made my mum's hair go all crispy. It, she has really, she has like the most finest hair ever and I've got really thick hair. It just made her hair so like, crispy and then when I tried to like blow dry it, it just did nothing and then she couldn't brush her hair for a while so she had to wash it out. Yeah, she had to scrub her head so much with shampoo. This, I tried it on myself as well because I wanted to get a bit volume and when I straightened my hair. Yeah, my hair got greasy after a day and it never, my hair never gets greasy after a day. It always gets greasy after like three or four days. But it was like, it really made my hair very like stiff and I couldn't move it about a lot. Like normally I could like f flick my fringe every, like it used to go from there to there. And, yeah, my fringe was just like mental. But when I had this in, it like stuck. It was like not moving. And I couldn't really like, when I was in school normally I just like, I flip my hair over or something like that. I couldn't even do that. It was so stiff and like so annoying. And then when I washed it out, my hair felt so soft. It was like, yes, get this product out. But I actually just applied this to my roots and it was, no. I didn't like it. I would never repurchase this again. I don't know if this is still out. I got this ages ago. It hasn't got like a sell by date on it. That annoys me because it does say, um, for best results with Scotch just volumizing. Oh, oops, sorry. It don't say. I thought it said something about the use before sell by date, but it didn't say. But yeah, like, I don't know if this is still out there. I think this got discontinued ages ago. I don't even know, but yeah, I would never repurchase this again. It just really, it just really damaged my hair a lot. Even though if you do put heat on your hair, you do get damaged hair. But this just damaged my hair even more than it actually should have. So I was like, mm, no, girl, no, no, goodbye. That nearly crushed my phone, and that is heavy. And I, oh my god, my heart just dropped. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. These are some products that I hate, and I would just never like repurchase again in my life, unless like there's sometimes in the future, about ten years down the line, and I'm like, what? Oh, it's a black cat. <laughs> I was like, I can see this thing like running across. Um, unless there's someone like this, that's like somewhere down the line about 10 years from now where I've like yeah I want to try this again because I hated it when I was 15 and now I'm like 20 I'm 20, 25 and I want to try it now Yeah. but if you guys enjoyed this video please give it a big thumbs up and comment down below like what products that you love or what products that you wouldn't use again if it's ones that I've shown you or ones that you've actually got in a hoe please tell me down below so I know probably not to get them or like oh girl I like that though but do you know what it's our own opinions and I'm going to shoot this chair there's one thing that I hate about when your chairs like your spinny chairs get like rusty and like you know it's gonna break soon that happened it's so annoying I was doing my makeup this morning I kept spinning around and it was like Ehh! and I'm like why why yeah but don't worry, this hope this squeaky chair goes home. <laughs> so if you're new to my channel, hi, my name is Teddy. I make weird videos because I'm not normal and people think I'm a beauty guru, but I don't really think I am because you know what? I don't know much. But yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Please subscribe, please. And yeah, I hope to see you guys soon with another video. Maybe next week, maybe the week after. Who even knows anymore, guys? Who even knows? So I hope you guys see you soon. I hope to see you soon and yeah, I think that's it for today. Bye guys.